Welcome back, heroes, to some more Poke Engine MMO. Last episode, we saved a little globe trot that got separated from its pack, was making its way down the cliff, a little bit injured, and then got attacked by a chalker. Managed to uh, defeat the chalker, rescue the globe trot, and take it back to its uh, little pack. We've uh, made our way for a little cave, and now it's torrential rain right now. It's whew, it's Kogra out or something, but we're gonna be making our way up north. Probably into a few fights on the way. Uh, our cute little bunny evolved, did a little, little bit of grinding, our team is now looking very solid so we shouldn't struggle at all, but we're getting very close to the top of the region which makes me think we're probably getting close to the end of this uh, this game. But that's fine, once we finish this game we can always go on to another one. But we got a uh, pilgrim main, that looks so sick, that's the final evolution, I, I kind of want to put one on the team honestly, it looks really cool. Let's just side beam it. Nice, got the confusion, keep going, keep going. Nothing else on our team has evolved yet. I feel like one of one or two of these Pokemon have got to evolve, surely. But maybe when they grow a few more levels. Well, I know the Cuddles will evolve because the guy when we got it mentioned that how when they evolve they are uh, like very loyal to their like um, their trainer. So at some point that's going to evolve. But let's look around and see what we can find around here. Maybe get some new encounters. Although grinding was kind of annoying because the Hevoyant they would often teleport away. <laughs> I, was like, I was like almost taking them out. I was like, okay, gonna take this out, get a bit of experience, bam, teleport. I'm like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Anyway, that's just a uh, side beam. Level 27. Not too bad. We're level, level, we're level 31 now. Hevoyant just was my main Pokemon to grind with. It was just uh, helping everyone else grow them levels up. But Bull Bites almost level 26, which is good. Oh, that's a lot of predictor bombs. I'm just gonna run away from that. Like, I don't mind fighting a horde if I had a move that I can just, like, attack multiple of them at once, but unfortunately, we. I don't think we do. I mean, Rock Slide might hit a couple, because I know it hits two in double battles, but apart from that, I don't think I have anything else. Plus, it's raining as well. Like, if the Rock Slide doesn't do much damage, we can't go for fire moves. Uh, yo. How's it going? Don't you love being around all these flowers? No, not really. My hay fever would be just off the charts. Oh, it's evolution of the little tick. Sick. That being said though, I would love to be having a nice little walk in the rain. When it's like super heavy rain like this, nothing better than taking a nice little walk from my house to the shop or taking the dog for a walk is just, oh, love walking in the rain. So nice, man, but oh my God, it's doing a lot of damage. Um, and the bounce, come on, I can not take this out actually. Got the paralysis though. Get paralyzed. Sticky web, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go side beam. Finish it off. Oh, okay, are you poison? I was thinking you were like maybe like um dark bug. But, uh Zen headbutt. Yes, let's get rid of nothing. I'm I don't know. No, I'll keep side beam, it's got a nasty plot. This thing's learning more physical moves, so I'm thinking it's more of a physical attacker, but at the same time, I don't know. Sci I think I need a special attack because Psybeam has been saving us so much. Bounce again. Nice, good damage. All right, let's go for that. Oh no, no PP left. Go for Psybeam, finish it off. Nice, good job. Wee, Bulb Bite level 26 wants to learn agility, no thanks. We good, we good. Oh, it's quite hard to see though where we're going. Oh, let's go kind of run away from you. Might quickly just pop a repel so we can get through here a little bit easier. Kind of see where we're gonna go first. Got a repel here. Right. So that's a dead end. I think we're gonna go back this way. And go up. I love the music here though. This is really nice. To get there, I have to come down. Uh, yo, how's it going? Oi, you look like you could pose a bit of fun. I mean, I might be able to. Probably should have got fully healed. Oh, is that the evolution of that? That looks sick. Love the little snorkeler, man. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Got the confusion. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Fantastic, and oh. Camo, so that's the evolution of our uh, mini crap, which I, I assume we've got to be getting that soon. We're almost level 27, so maybe the next you know, four levels between 27 and 30 might get it. 
Shear drop. Uh, we'll just keep going. Side beam. It's working. Drop my attack. That's fine. We're going for that special. Easy. Can we evolve? Not yet. Got five max repels though. It's going to be clutch. We want to continue exploring. Oh, I didn't even see you behind the tree. The ninja strikes again. Honestly, good spot, man. Very good spot. Uh, Cybemia. Sweet. And then one more. Off to a fantastic size. Her voice is getting so OP to level 33. <laughs> uh, but right now, it's just like the best Pokemon to use around here. Oh, Hyper Fang, I'm definitely dead. It's all good. I'm not going to get healed up right away. That way, it just lets everyone else kind of catch up a little bit to Hair Voyant. So if I heal up Hair Voyant and start, you know, even if I don't use it, it's still going to get some experience and just uh, be super OP. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Seeker Deer, oh, I like that. Looks like electric poison to me, maybe? That's so cool. Got the flinch, nice. I'll finish it off. Oh, just living, man. Just living. Whew. All right, let's get the poker stop. I have to jump down from there. How do we get to the other side? But, um, hmm. Now where can I find some powerful trainers? These apricorn balls won't sell themselves after all. He's left his briefcase behind. Oh, no. It's a suitcase. Did that salesman drop it? Might as well look inside. Oh, nice. Just going to steal some balls. <laughs> steal a lot of balls. Oh, I feel really bad. I've always been like a little side quest of taking the suitcase to him, but nope, just gonna steal the balls. Uh, right. Let me fight you, and I'm gonna go back down and finish exploring this area. I think there's a few areas we can get to, and I can get healed up on the way if we get. Oh my god, that looks so sick! Hammer Rock, I love it. Oh, that's so cool. I want one of those. Oh, that's so sick. Um, what to go into? What to go into? Oh, we got a fighting time finally on Mimikrat, so now we can look at this and just do some super effective moves. This thing is part fighting, and I swear we haven't learned a fighting time move till I learned Brick Break. Sweet level 20. Liquid Metal, what does that do? Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to get rid of uh, Minimize. Flame Burst, yes. Get rid of Incinerate, I think. Flame Burst is better than Incinerate, right? I mean, I hope so. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, you've got Saber Rock. You've got a hammer and a sword. I think I like the hammer better. Usually I'd go for a sword, always, but... I don't know. I like the look of the hammer. Well, that flinch really sucks. Oh, we just lived. Oh, the flinch again. Oh, you only won because of flinch. I hope you know that, dude. You only won because of flinch. Don't you dare flinch me again. Okay. I need to fear definitely to get healed up now. Alright, if we jump down here, we can get this. Ooh, we got a stamp. Don't know what that's for, but. Ooh, another stamp. How do I get up there? I can't jump up. get around there unless we go a different way right, let's get healed up as right, so I go all the way around get the item there it's lots to explore it's just a little bit hard to see for me and I, can, I can obviously make out where I'm going but because the whole point like you know the rain so we can make it a little bit difficult to see some bits but we want to go up this way Pop another repel. Yeah, let's go down. I'm gonna go down here. Because going down here will lead us to a few places. Get the poker stop. Ooh, no achievement. Greetings from the Northern Sea Beacon. Love these poker stops, man. I really hope poker stops become like an actual thing in Pokemon games. 
I don't know, I think it's really cool. If we go this way, can we get to that? We can. It's best be worth it. It's a really cool design route. Like, lots of different, like, ways to go. See a bunch of things you want to pick up, but you have to go all the way around. I like it. I wish the rain wasn't so heavy. Oh, nice little battleground here. Oh, you can get healed up here. Okay. And you got some supplies. Uh, why are you blocking this place? Oh dear, oh bother. What do I do? I bought uh, 10 Hashomi stamps, but I dropped them all. Now the wind has scattered them all across the sea beacon path. If only someone help me recover them all. Okay, so that's what I gotta do. We've got... How many have we got? Uh... Four. We have four. Gobble Ganet are the worst and they're seeing such a glutinous Pokemon in my life. Makes you wonder how the species evolved that way. Surely they couldn't have always been like that. Who knows, perhaps 100,000 years ago they were the coolest Pokemon in town. Maybe. So welcome to strolling through the world of Pokemon. I'm Professor Willow, your guide on this journey. She's watching a lecture on her phone. We should probably leave her alone, okay. Or we can just watch along with her. I mean, the screen's gonna get super wet though, right? <laughs> if you're under underneath like an umbrella or something, maybe. Well, that, that type of rain is going to be hard to hear unless you've got headphones in and the screen's going to get all wet unless you've, I don't know, got something to cover it. That's not the best idea to be watching right now. But now we're on this side. Uh, before we jump across there, let's go across here. So it seems like the sort of thing, if we go the wrong way, we're going to have to go all the way back around just to find stuff. Right. Uh, I think I might pop the rappel just so I can get through here and get these things a little bit easier because I don't need to do any grinding. Uh, repel, repel. Where's my repels? There. Next repel, sweet. So I know there's an item all the way over here, but I have to jump down for it. It's going to be a stamp, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. Can I jump back up? <laughs> Probably should have picked up the thing on the left, maybe there is one. We're halfway through. I think we've got five. How many stamps we got now? Six? Five? Five. Couldn't remember if I picked up a stamp uh, on the way there, but we go all the way up and around. For this sort thing lets up soon as well. Alright, so we want to probably get that. But if I go down this way first, I'll make sure we don't jump down to a place we have to go all the way back around for. Yeah, I should have got this one first before jumping down. Alright, so that's six. Alright, so now we want to get that seven. Eight. Uh, let's jump down. Right, seven. You want to fight? You do. Uh, do you practice mindfulness? Really? How often? Uh, never. <laughs> Ooh, you're level twenty-five. This could be easy. Because you're a wild Pokemon, you can't teleport away, but you've got a calm mind. That's uh, a little scary in that case. I'm going to go for Happy Slap. And you hurt yourself in confusion. Fantastic. And then one more. Ah, oh, Protect. You're the worst kind of person. Stop protecting. Just take the slap. There we go. Oh, uh, I think you're Dark type? Can I take the Pokedex from here? Uh, where is it, the Pokedex? I don't think I've, I haven't caught one. I don't think it's up, but uh, I'm gonna go Happy Slap, because I'm pretty sure it's Rock Dark. Or well, it might just be Normal Rock. Let's try Side Beam. It's Normal, it's just, just Rock. It's not uh, Dark Rock. Nice, one more. There we go, much better. Give me that experience, please. 
Okay. Uh, let's get that to jump down. Sweet. Alright, that takes me back. I want to get this one. So that's nine. That's ten. Is there eleven on the field? If I go down here, there's another item I can pick up. Is this not one? Oh, solid kick. Okay, cool. So now we got. Not going to need another repel. We've got all the items. Oh, do I have to go all the way? No, I, cool. Got to go all the way around just to get back up. Are we good? I have your stamps, my good man. They're probably a little bit soggy, but I'm going to get healed up first, actually. And then we'll give it to you. My Pokemon's still like trying to catch up. Uh, my poor stamps all gone. Yep, you saved my holiday. So on my way back to the Harbor Inn to write postcards to all my friends. When suddenly my Pokemon's still catching up. When suddenly a fearsome gale uh, snatched him out from my hands. Please, this is a reward. It's a limited edition Lund stamp. I received it for buying 10 normal stamps. Oh, we gotta take this to um someone. Um, I think it was in the inn, Wild Root Inn, wanted to see the stamps. Want to see the limited edition stamp. Now we got it. Definitely got to show him that. Uh, Gobble Gannet rocks that way. Uh, let's go into the lighthouse. Ooh, what's down the basement? Can't go down there. I'm liking the music here. Ooh. Voltsy, you've made it. Welcome to the Northern Sea Beacon. Come meet my friend, Leo. Uh, hi. It's a cool Pokeball. Oh, hmm. Hello, it's nice to be in your company. London's been singing your praises ever since he arrived. They call me Leo, like a uh, Leo... Leo Bulb? <laughs> no? Okay, not to worry. Anyway, I could do with your help. As I'm sure Lund mentioned when he uh, briefed you, the bulb has been flickering since the storm. Not good. Ships won't be able to see the island and might run aground. I've got a spare bulb ready to swap in, but it'll take some time. May we please have your bulbite for a moment? Okay. Hmm. A little kiss of, of oil right here, and wonderful. Lon, my old friend, could you pass the screwdriver? Hmm, this is odd. Very odd indeed. Bolt, are you still there? I am. Can you please run downstairs and grab the manual on my chest of drawers? Need to check something quickly, okay. Uh, this one? Hmm, that's the one, thank you kindly. Hmm, I thought as much. Uh, the flickering doesn't seem to be caused by the bulb itself, meaning it must be the beacon's power supply. Could I ask you a small favor? Uh, could you please go down to the basement? Down there you find a fuse box with switches. All of these switches should be facing upwards. If you see any facing downwards, flick them up. I'm counting on you, okay. Good thing I've still got the bulb bite on my team, just in case you know, get into a fight down there. Music's so cool though. Oh yeah, there's something here. Got a shockwave, cool. Hey, oh, what are you doing? <gasps> oh. Mogwa power. It's a wild Pokemon that's been draining the Northern Sea Beacon's power supplies. Explain why the bulb has been flickering. Let's chase it upstairs. Oh. Do I have to flick any switches? I don't. And it's gone upstairs. You get back here, boy. There it is. There it is, keep chasing it. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop. I'm gonna get you. Uh, I guess I'll just speak to you. I imagine you have something to do with the uh, the Pokemon that just ran in here. Hmm. Draining electricity straight from the fuse box, you say. Fascinating. Don't imagine it was very tasty. Draining them from the light bulb itself would have been much more filling, but it's probably very confused. It's a Pokemon named Lampire, electric and dark type. Oh, it's that's what uh, Bulbite evolves into. Sweet. Judging from the look on your Bulbite's face when it flew up here, I'd say it's probably its mother. Neither one are native to the island, so they probably got separated by the storm or gust of wind. They're so happy to see each other, they're positively shining. Raises a question though, what will you do now? Will you continue to raise Bulbite or return to the wild so it can be with its mother? Ah, uh, I probably should give it to his mum, shouldn't I? You're not sure? Perhaps you should ask Bulbite the same question. Though you don't speak the same tongue, I can feel the bond between you is strong. Aww. 
look into Bulb Bite's eyes and ask what it wants to do? Will it stay or return to the wild and be with its family? Uh, well, that sounds like a yes to me, friend. It wants to stay with you. Oh, nice. Hmm, indeed, it seems very happy with you, but what of its mother? And there you have it. It gave you its blessing to continue raising its child. Pokemon are so amazing. Hmm, maybe. Perhaps Lampire could stay here, with me. There's lots of electricity to eat, plus some uh, nice ceilings to hang down from. Thought you could even bring Bulbite to visit whenever it misses its mama. How about it? Hmm, what a wholesome end to this amazing journey. Short but sweet, with lots of adventure in the middle. We're ex extremely grateful for all your help. I'm sure you're itching to go back out and explore the island, but first, meet me outside. Wait, okay, so that's like the... I guess like main story bit dumb. But we still got bits of the island to explore and some side quests to hand in. And the celestial Pokemon as well we need to find. The key to the church as well. There's, there's a bunch to do. But come on, Foltsy. To the battlefield we go. Looks like the rain is stopping too. Just in time for your big showdown. Nice. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, so Leo's a wicked battler. Hope, you're, hope for your sake you have found a pair of sea legs on your journey. I hope so. So let me to reintroduce myself. I'm Leo, keeper of the Northern Sea Beacon. I was born and raised in this island. I know every nook and cranny of its shoreline. I may appear to be an unsociable old coot, but you'll be a fool to underestimate me. If you're ready, let's get the ball rolling. Okay, let's do it. Oh, okay. Uh, that's sweet. Leyline. Just go for a side beam. And you're gonna toxic me. That's not cool. But it's good damage. It's fine. Another side beam, and one more finish you off. The poison won't kill me. If you bring out the uh, the vampire, I can happy slap it, do a little bit of damage. Oh, the poison will take me out. Uh, let's go into you. Oh, <laughs> Alpha Current. I love it. Oh, that's so sick. Uh, this is not looking too good, though. I could lose this fight. A ground type would be really clutch for this fight, 100%. You got a ground type before you fight this dude, I'd recommend training it up or, you know, catching one. At least the poison's doing some work for us. Okay, uh, let's go into cuddles. Let's go for a snow. Or not? Okay, okay. Not cool. Just bite ya. And the Lampire, level 32. Whew. Flash me, that's fine. We missed, of course. Watch us miss all the attacks now. <laughs> oh, man. Not enough damage. It's gonna be such a tough fight. There's no point switching out. Just gotta stay in until we uh we die with double team and flash. We are never hitting this thing now. Flash has 20 pp. I was hoping you'd run out of flash soon, but let's do a little bit of damage. That life still sucks as well. Uh, right, your electric dart. Oh, so what we want to do is send out you. Can we get this brick break off? Nice, that's great. Come on, just gotta land the attacks. Nice. One more, one more. Land it, land it, land it. Oh, let's go, Mimi Crack. You're too good. Way too good. We're gonna evolve now. Be the perfect time to evolve. No evolution. We got another achievement, but fantastic stuff. Oh, really well done. You and your team were truly a marvel to behold. Now, I wonder what Lund thought of our little skirmish. Uh, well, chaps, uh, let me just say it was an honor to witness such an electrifying display. Leo, you handled Lampire like a dream. It was as though you've known each other for years. Voltsy, your team performed beautifully, but I expected nothing less from you at this point. Beyond the Northern Sea Beacon it lies at Gobble Garnet Rock. But as strong as you might be, I don't think you're quite ready to tackle it just yet. Instead, I'd appreciate your help with another matter down in Wild Root. Sorry that I keep dragging you along like this, but it's, uh, it's your own fault for being so strong and reliable. 
Leo, I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks for all your help. Faulty, I'll meet you in Wild Root. Also, you might like this TM. This island can feel huge at times, so I'm sure it will come in useful. Fly, nice. Okay. Oh, side quest? Just checking on the damage from the basement and found the spare part. Thought you might like it. Perhaps Bulbite could chew on it. Oh, that's probably how you evolve uh, Bulbite, I'm going to assume. Um, but first, let me just check. Can anyone on our team learn fly? Fly, use. Oh, okay, you both can learn it. That's actually great. I'm gonna get rid of bounce. So now we get back to Wild Root really easy, but uh, I'm gonna heal up. This is a very great place to end this pod off. Next episode, we go back down to Wild Root, and then now that we've got some stuff, we can maybe do some side quests. But uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.